Hey guys, what up, Zig Nice? I'm Shadow here with a new segment. Um, in my YouTube, it's called Windows 7 for Dummies. So basically, what I'm gonna do is explain to you everything that you supposed to know about Windows 7, and uh, when you're gonna buy it, you're gonna be like a little pro. I'm not gonna say a pro because I may be lying. So, but whatever. This is gonna basically walk you through Windows 7. So see it with your own eyes. So as I said in my Windows 7 video, this is what you're gonna get if you're gonna buy Windows 7. This is build 7600, the latest build, and this is what they are selling right now. As you can see, there's no numbers in the bottom right here. So getting on with that, the first thing what you're gonna do, this is uh, whatever. This is a team. This is the basic team that your Windows computer will come in. If you have a row, it's better. Enable it a row. So that's what the first thing you're gonna do is go to personalize. And if you have a basic theme like this one, this this is the one that your computer will come in. So this is basic. There's no Avro. The first thing you're gonna do is go to personalize. And right here you're gonna see Avro themes. So you're just gonna click on Windows 7, and this is Avro. Now you're gonna have Avro and do this awesome stuff. So yeah, if we got that done now, let's uh, tell you how to insert some gadgets. So you go, you're gonna go to right click gadgets right here and then you're gonna put your gadgets in I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put my clock my blogger buddy because I blog a lot and my official Windows 7 magazine because I'm a Windows blogger and my Twitter because I'm a Twitter whore okay so when I got that all in and you like it you could put it wherever you want doesn't matter that's the new cool feature about Windows 7 so yeah, the, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna see this huge text bar, and you're just you could just drag whatever you want. I'm just gonna drag my webcam Mac software, and you could pin it right here. And it's gonna be much easier to you to access access it right here. So you, as you can see, I have like a lot of programs right here. But again, this is my laptop, so yeah, it's smaller. So how you unpin it is just right click on it and then you're gonna say unpin program from tax bar. And there you go, it's gone. So that's a basic thing that a lot of people know. But then let's get into how to install Windows 7 themes and make it your personal computer. So you, what you wanna go is go to my blog, blog. I don't know what's happening to me today, I'm running out of breath. But whatever. So you're gonna go to my blog with seven expertsblogspotcom and then as you can see there's a new post on October 5th, Windows 7 themes. So you're gonna click on that post, whatever. I'm gonna do that fancy stuff and then as you can see, hello today I'm gonna show you how to I'm gonna show you a link that will provide you with some awesome Windows 7 themes. Here's the link, Windows 7 themes. So you're gonna click on this link and then it's gonna bring you to this website, I think different com so basically let's just select theme guys I'm gonna go with this this awesome okay and whatever I'm just gonna put the let's ape Apple because a lot of guys like Apple so it's gonna download really fast right here so I'm just gonna see about the browser guys the best browser for Windows 7 is Google Chrome it matches Windows 7 and it's fast with Windows 7 so please get it and do not stay with Internet Explorer 9 8 sorry it may be like oh my god wow this is the shit but get Google Chrome so that being said my team is just downloaded so after I download I'm going to click and I'm going to show in folder and then you can see Apple type Windows 7 teams I'm just going to double click it BAM it installs that fast and it's just saved it in my themes so guys that's an awesome awesome feature from uh, Windows 7 it just installs everything so as you can see there's a new theme and a lot of guys wonder when I minimize a window where does it go whereas well, you can see there's a stack right here if I if I stay with the mouse on it, it'll just appear like this. Oh, okay, and another thing, the the backgrounds change. Like it changes like 
every 10 seconds. If you do not want your background to change, just go to right click, personalize, and right here it says desktop background. Just unselect, unselect this, this, unselect the team you want. So you just want this team, you're just gonna click on it and you click save changes. And it will not, it will not slideshow. But whatever, getting back to the point. As you see right here, there's three stacks, right? And if I keep my mouse over the window, it will pop up three windows. So as you can see, if you go like this, this will be able to sneak peek the window. So you're gonna be like, what do you want? I want downloads or computer? computer and then I'm just gonna click close or if you want to close your text bar go right here and then click this X button okay so and uh, another cool feature is like when you just click and drag up this awesome pop-up menu will come up so it's gonna say the most videos visited so my most visited is of course Google YouTube Facebook, photo log, Twitter, web blog, redirecting, and WordPress, and your dashboard. Recent close, Windows 7 themes, I think different text, new window, new new encounter in the window. And, um, yeah guys, this, will basi this was basically everything about Windows 7 part 1 for dummies. So, like, in three days, there's gonna be, like, another part. I, I'm not gonna promise anything, so... Yeah guys, this was all. Peace out and learn some Windows 7.